G'day, Paul and Pauline here. We've just set up camp at Tamworth on our way down to Newcastle and, uh, and we're having an evening meditation tonight from the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, where Paul is asking some interesting questions. He says, do you really need letters of recommendation to validate our ministry like others do? Do we really need your letter of endorsement? Of course not, for your very lives are our letters of recommendation. He's been there before and he's seen their lives transformed by the Spirit of God. Um, he says, for your very lives are our letters of recommendation permanently engraved on our hearts, recognised and read by everybody. As a result of our ministry, you are living letters written by Christ, not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not carved onto stone tablets, but on the tablets of tender hearts. We carry this confidence in our hearts because of our union with Christ before God. Yet we don't see ourselves as capable enough to do anything in our own strength, for our true competence flows from God's empowering presence. He alone makes us adequate ministers who are focused on an entirely new covenant. Our ministry is not based on the letter of the law, but through the power of the Spirit. The letter of the law kills, but the Spirit pours out life. So here is St. Paul and his other followers of Jesus Christ going around and establishing churches and seeing the Spirit move onto the lives of ordinary people in Corinth and, and changing them forever, permanently changing them. And they then become uh, living witnesses to the power and the love and the grace and the peace of Jesus Christ. And we too have been changed by this power and we too are living witnesses uh, that are showing the world the love and the power of God. It's not, we can do nothing in our own strength. The verse in there that grabbed me is verse 5. Yet we don't see ourselves as capable enough to do anything in our own strength. For our true competence flows from God's empowering presence, which comes from our fellowship with him through his word, through prayer, through fellowship one with another. We are empowered by the Spirit of God. So if that's a, a puzzle to you, Pauline's got the answer, I think. <laughs> yes, once you accept Jesus, he becomes part of your life in you. So if you don't understand this or it's never happened to you that you can understand what God wants you to do, or uh, just ask, because the Christ lives in you, surely you can ask, and the Word says you can ask, and he will tell you. So. There is a little bit of a mystery, but you have to have faith that God will tell you. And I tell you, it never fails. You might have to wait, but ask God for the answer. So that's our meditation for tonight from 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Just see, get into the Word yourself and allow the Word of God to get into you. And may you be guided by His Spirit. Hallelujah. See you again. Bye. Bye.